All right, today is Saturday, July 30th. We are leaving Rondell Valley tomorrow, which means it's time to start getting some stuff put away today. We are <clears throat> about two and a half hours from my hometown, so my parents are actually coming to visit today since we're gonna be gone for the next couple months. So I'm trying to break down here in the morning. Amanda's got the kids over at some campground activities, which when we, this, this campground had a lot of different activities for the kids, which is, it's always good to have those free activities and let the kids get out and do some things that are outside of the RV that are just more than just a playground. Arts and crafts, different activities are fun. All right, today's travel day. We're leaving Rondau Valley. We're heading to Gateway Cape Cod. So we're just about ready to put slides in, get the uh, fifth wheel back to hitch height, hitch up and get on out of here. So this is our longest travel day ever. It's almost like five hours, five and a half hours. Never done that before. Let's see how this goes. Today we are exploring Plymouth, Massachusetts. We are right now currently at the Mayflower 2, which you see right here. We are also going to check out Plymouth Rock and see what else Plymouth has to offer. why we love doing these type of things is basically so I can learn and also the kids can learn things that you don't really learn in the uh, textbooks in uh, American public school system because to me I thought the Mayflower came and they landed they had Thanksgiving together and there was a big battle with the indigenous people that were here come to find out by the time this the Mayflower even got here the indigenous people were pretty much already wiped out completely uh, from the plague. So that story really doesn't match up to uh, what I learned in school. So I love learning these uh, new facts, but it definitely changes my uh, complete thought system of what had actually happened here. So we are standing at Plymouth Rock where what I always thought was where the pilgrims had landed. Uh, it is indeed a rock. But as the signs here will tell you and what you will learn here is that they have no idea if this rock even meant anything. There's no mention of this rock in any of the uh, pilgrims kind of memoirs history. Uh, so it is interesting why this is such a famous place, but this is where the ships had landed. So it's pretty uh, interesting. Now these two statues here that you're probably seeing right now are also very interesting. I'm sure that they symbolize the uh, pilgrims, English settlers coming 
onto land and also the indigenous people kind of standing at the top of the hill watching them come to land and fleeing out of fear. again another national historic landmark and here I am getting choked up so now I just walked through uh, burial hill at Plymouth and we're basically majority of the pilgrims and the first group of people that came here uh, were buried and then basically all the residents of the town of Plymouth up until the early 1900s I believe um, but man, you really start to think about how we have it today, how things started, how we got this. I'm not going to make this very political, but it really just makes you rethink uh, everything that you think you know. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty surreal experience. I took a couple pictures of a few different random tombstones, headstones. And I mean, they're really like very cool looking. They're... Uh, almost done by artists it's not just a a name on there there's a lot of designs a lot of meanings behind them but i grabbed a few different random ones and i just want to research these people just see what their lives what their uh their bloodline became i think it'd be pretty interesting but i would say that the uh, burial hill is in uh, is much more fascinating than seeing the actual rock and the actual Mayflower replica ship. Um, this part is free, so I would definitely recommend coming here. I think we're done here. Now we're going to just uh, drive around a little bit. Let's see. They uh, use this as a burial site until 1957. We're finishing our time here at uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. I'd say overall, it's definitely worth coming for the day to visit and check it out the uh, burial hill which is a free site must see uh, the courthouse up there must see just walking through the uh, the street with all the um, kind of original houses that are nowhere near original but the site of the original houses is worth it um, paying to go onto the Mayflower eh, I don't know I don't think it was probably worth it. Um, it's a boat. I didn't really learn too much uh, about the Mayflower or what they did. Um, there was only a few like workers on the boat and you could maybe ask them questions, but it was kind of like a self-explore and there wasn't really much, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't much to explore. It wasn't much on there. Uh, we didn't do the grist mill and we didn't do the uh, Plymouth Pawtucket, which is, it's kind of, if you've ever been to Williamsburg, it, it's kind of like the Williamsburg experience where people are dressed up uh, like the times and reenact things. Um, we didn't do that either, so I can't tell you if that was worth the money. Uh, but for two adults and one child, because we were free, it was $45 to do the Mayfair. And I just don't think it was the Mayflower. I say the Mayfair. What about, I mean, I guess that would be a good deal to get like a new laundry, like a washing machine or refrigerator or something. Well, that's Maytag. So what is what is Mayfair? Mayfair? So I've, I've been in the sun way too long. It's like a heat advisory today. Anyway, and the rock. Can't forget the rock, Plymouth Rock. Uh, don't pay to see that. Um, but it's a rock. And right, you don't have to pay. And like I said earlier in the video, they don't even know if that's the rock. Who knows? But like I said, when, when I was up on Burial Hill, it's it's a surreal experience and it really makes you rethink everything you think you know about the history of this land. But definitely come to Plymouth. Plymouth. See the Plymouth Rock. Um, it's well worth it. The views by itself are amazing. I mean, the views here on the water and you saw some of the views from up on top of Burial Hill. But that's it. 
we're gonna head back to the truck and head back to the campground. So that's gonna be the end of this week's video because we still have Cape Cod, possibly Boston, a lot of other things to do. They're not all gonna fit in this video. So that's the end of this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see everything we do in Cape Cod, Boston, uh, basically three weeks up in Acadia. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Don't forget to uh, go follow us on Instagram right here, at Type 1 Detour. Uh, that's where you're gonna see more up-to-date, more daily posts from us, uh, more than just the weekly broken down into a 10 minute video here. Um, but that's it for now, and we'll see you on the next one. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down